AFTV was still here in Baku. Um, we're going to get into the player ratings. Uh, what, I don't know what. It's the way you say. It's the way you say. I'm so. You know what? I'm we're still, still here. Like, yeah, where the fuck are we meant to go? Right. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just. Do you know what? Right? I'm still gutted. I'm so disappointed at what I saw tonight. Oh. You know, it's just been reminiscent of what we've been watching for the last. Every time we go away from home, basically, yeah. it's been dreadful. I know. Absolutely dreadful what I've seen. And um, I don't think too many players are going to come out with, with shining colours. But listen, let's try and be objective on it and mm -hmm. not just say, no, 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 you know, because we're angry. Let's be subjective with it and try and give clear and proper ratings, all right? Uh -huh. So, pet a check in goal. I'll give him a six, man of the match. Um, still think you should have saved the first goal from Giroud. Leno would have saved it. Stronger hands. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, but look, it's a brilliant header by Giroud. It, I, I think that's more a defensive error. I don't know. I have, I've got to watch it back. I've only seen I, it the I once. Have, I have watched it back, and it, he should have had a stronger hand to it. And I just, I just think that he should have saved that one. But I'll give him a six. He saved about ten other ones. Yeah, so no, no, no. He, he was the best of yeah. all of the team. But he's finished now. Um, he can take his helmet and bye bye. Yeah. Well, he's go, he's going to a team that's won a trophy now, isn't yeah. it? So, oh, uh, Ainsley Maitland Niles. Let's, let's start with the wing backs first. I think he had a good first half. Second half fell apart like the rest of the team. Gave away that penalty, I mean. Yeah, blood. What, what the, I don't know what a Ross he's dealing with, blood, like. Real talk, blood. I do not know what he's dealing with, blood. Two. Um, Kalasinac. Zero. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Couldn't cross the road. <laughs> he, did have a, he did have zero. I mean, you know, no, zero. No, Robbie, but. zero. Awful. All right, let's go to um, centre halves. Socrates. Four. Was he not at fault for that first goal, though? The way he just let Giroud, you know what Giroud's all about. He just, I mean, it's a great goal by Giroud, don't get me wrong. But the way he let him just cut in front of him like that. Two. I'm not telling you to revise nah, you your just, score. Nah, nah, you just reminded me. Two. All right, uh, Koscielny. Two. Meant to be the captain. Sorry, hopefully that's his last game for the club. Simple as that. I've got people that have the audacity to try and put Koscielny in the same bracket as the likes of Tony Adams and Patrick mm -hmm. Vieira as captains. Go away, get in the bin yourself. Sorry, two, not good enough. Monreal. Two. Did nothing. You understand? Did he even play? Real talk. Man said, did he play, blood? You know the worst thing? You understand? Can I just say one thing? We'd have probably been better defensively with Mustafi playing. He's been the form defender. I did suggest that at the start of the game. I got, I got slated for it. He's been the form defender. Mm. Me and you uh, said that. Um, Xhaka. I know you'll come to me, but do you know what? First half especially, I thought he was really good. And I yeah, think that shot that just yeah, clipped the bar. Um, and in the second half, he was putting the effort in. He was a player that you could say was trying. He wasn't responsible for any of the goals. Ability, though. No, yeah, I mean, no, when he's no, up but, against those but, teams that know, but, Robbie, move the ball Robbie, quick. But, but, That's yeah, all listen, listen, you can't pinpoint tonight on him. Absolutely no chance whatsoever. I know what your thoughts are on him, but like you said, let's be objective. Let's give ratings based on tonight. Shackle yeah. was not the worst player out there tonight. No, he wasn't. Do you know? So I'll give him a five. Okay. Um, Torreira. Four. I don't think he was good today, blood. I think first half he was good. Second half he lost his head, blood. He was getting ripped apart, fam. You understand? When I soon as soon as I heard the Cartney thing, I was that's when I was like, here we go now, blood. You understand? Four, fam. Uh, Mr. Ozil. Zero. 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 See the the thing is, the thing is people are saying zero <laughs> zero all around. But the thing is, like in the first half, like with what other people were doing and what they were saying, he was controlling the ball. He was trying to make things happen but the second half just like everyone else just fell apart I came a one and that was just based on the first half what did you make of it he you got substituted the way he walked off yeah, yeah he yeah, got I substituted know, right the, yeah, nah, the, the way he walked off you'd have think we're winning 4-1 uh, he just like yeah. he's like he didn't yeah. that was a thing like I don't care do you know what I, that's the way it came across to me what, I mean I thought that was appalling do you know what I've got to say on the situation I was watching the interview <laughs> with Raul Sanelli last week and um, they were talking about player contracts and they said that now if a player goes with two years left on his contract you make a decision sell him 
or offer them a new one. They're not going below two years anymore. Meza Urza has got two years left. I'm at the point now where I'm like, it's time to let it go. Um, Lacazette. Two. Two. Dead, bro. Dead, bro. Dead. I miss that. He's the man that I thought would step up because he's got that killer instinct. You understand? He's got a lot of balls. when he shows heart. But today, he bottled it. Aubameyang. Zero. I think Lacazette should have had zero as well. They were both non-existent. We may as well just add Giroud back up front. Well, he did better than what we had up front, for real. Iwobi? Some subs have come on. Eight. It's a fantastic goal. And he did, he almost set up a couple other chances. Yeah. Before, Aubameyang before that, yeah, tried to do it, blood. And it was absolutely a fucking joke, blood. Iwobi is the man that everyone cusses, blood. This one here as well, fam. You understand? But it's great finish. He hit that. And line. he had energy when he came. Yeah, when, when he came on, that's yeah. what I was like, where's that been yeah. all night? Where, Somebody yeah. run with a bit of pace. You know where it was? On the bench. Yeah. That's where it was, blood. Yeah. On the bench. Bro. Willock. Yeah, Joe Willock. Credit where it's due with a worthy, I'll just say that. Mm. But um, Joe Willock should have scored. Should have um, But again, but again, what I will but say about Joe. Played, what I will say about I mean, Joe. You can't, you can't miss that. No, no, no. What I will say about Joe, though, as well, like a worthy, <coughs> brought energy. Mm. Drive. It did. Drive. You know what I mean? Something that we were missing. So let's not be too hard on him with a miss. He knows he should have scored. Mm. But it would have been a consolation. Let's be real mm. about it. It's not like that was going to mm. equalise or something. It would have just made the scoreline look mm. less embarrassing. But, what, are get, what are you getting? Oh, fucking hell. I've got to give him something, haven't I? Um, I give him a five. Gwendouzi. Just run round like a headless chicken, as Claude would say, fam. You understand? I don't... It's a joke, bro. Like, we're in a final, yeah, and we're bringing on fucking Gwendouzi and Joe Willett, blood. You understand? It's the team we got, man. Banter FC fan, back again in full effect. What are you giving him? Four. Um, this, uh, the manager. Zero. Zero, blood. Capitulation in the season, as DT pointed out earlier. You as well. 4-1 in the final. Ball job. The fans. Oh, the fans get, like, the highest ratings of everyone. Ten. Yeah, ten. Ten. 10 out of 10, more than 10. Do you know what I mean? Are you going to ask us what the ratings for UEFA are? Yeah, we won't do the ref here, yeah, UEFA. Yeah, fuck UEFA. Go fuck yourself. Right, that game felt like a pre-season friendly. That felt like when I was in Singapore with you lot. That's what that felt like. No atmosphere. And that's not no disrespect to the locals and anything like that. You took the opportunity of thousands of the fans that go week in, week out. You took their chance of being done away. Them a favor. No, no, no. Yeah, you're probably looking at that, but you took that chance away, right? Of mm. creating a proper atmosphere with the locals. You know, you made it difficult. It's a final and there's empty fucking seats, Robbie. UEFA. And they gave that pitch a five out of five. I've seen better pitches in Luton down the park. <laughs> Honestly. That pitch was shit, but it's no excuse because Chelsea had to play on it as well. I'm just saying the pitch was shit. The ref was shit. The linesmen's are shit. Their celebrations were shit. The fireworks were shit. <laughs> We're shit. The stadium shit because it's miles away from the pitch. You might as well have fucking Mo Farah running around there the size of that fucking track. So as far as I'm concerned, the whole trip has been shit. Baku's been a nice place. It's a nice place. It's lovely weather. But it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right.